There are three easy steps in creating your resume link. Let me show you how. Step 1. Register Go to www.jobs180.com using any browser and click register now. Fill out all the information needed. In choosing your resume link, use your full name so that it looks professional and it's easy to recall by potential employers. For example, Antonio Juan de la Cruz, the jobs180.com. Step 2. Create and design. When creating your resume, make sure to complete your personal information and upload your profile picture. One of the highlights of the resume link is the portfolio section. In the portfolio section, you can show off your skills by uploading samples of your work like documents, pictures, videos, and your social media links. Your resume link also features different themes and you can upload a cover photo. This is a combination of a cover letter and a social network cover photo. Here is an example. You can also download a copy of your resume link and print it. Step 3. Apply for a job There are many ways to apply with your resume link. First is browsing the job recommendations in your Jobs180 dashboard. If you are qualified, click Submit Resume Link. So what are you waiting for? Dress up your next generation resume, stand out brightly among the competitive job seekers in the market, and win the heart of your future employers using Resume Link.
morning, Rizal Technological University. We are live today. So welcome to our Marketing Me Live at RTU Part 2. And today we'll be joined by speakers from PSG Global, Hinduja Global Solutions, and Inum Data. So before we start, we'd like to invite everybody for a short prayer and the national anthem. Kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas. Ayang magiliw, pero sa sinahalan, alam ng puso sa dikit mo'y buhay. Upang hinihang, tuyang ka ng mahiting, sa manlulupin, di ka pasisigil sa nagatang tutok sa simula. start today's session, we are inviting Engineer Dolores Cruz, Program Chair, Department Head of BS Computer Engineering, Associate Professor 1, Local Accreditor, Internal Auditor, and COE Coordinator to give us the opening remarks. To the RTU Administration, headed by our Energetic President, Dr. Maria Eugenia M. Yanko, Vice Presidents, Deans, Directors, Head of different offices, fellow educators, students, friends, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. On-the-job training is recognized as the avenue of students to actualize their skills in the actual world of work. This is where students can give their full potential and show that they have learned something and try it out. Yet the situation that we are here today limits or prevents them from doing this. Thankful that there are companies and organizations who are willing to take the challenge and hire interns despite the pandemic. COVID-19 virus is widespread and new variants continue to pose threats to everyone. Experts say that this will be for many years, but we have been dealing with it quite successfully. Later on, there will be limited face-to-face -face classes and RTU Cooperative Education allowed some students today to be given OJT, pure, uh, provided that these are purely work from home or as prescribed by CHED and IATF. We have a webinar today and this is another great opportunity waiting for us to learn and become motivated. The topics are developing strong work ethics, hiring in the new normal, motivation and productivity, timely and relatable in this situation. 
So let us open our hearts and minds to the speakers who are credible to share their experiences. The topics will surely give us tips on how to deal with difficult situations and when to become successful. As they say, the best and most beautiful and successful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched. They must be felt with the heart. Good day and God bless us all. Thank you. Thank you for that, um, Engineer Cruz. So to our audience, thank you, thank you for commenting your um, name and your course. No? So keep them coming. So if there are friends, if you have classmates that are not watching us yet, please share this video to them. So here is our schedule for this morning. Our topics are developing strong work ethics from PSG Global, hiring in the new normal from Hinduja Global Solutions, and motivation and productivity from InnoData. So thank you, thank you for those who are on time. As we go along through our through our um, presentation, please um, feel free to put in your question so we can address it to the speaker after her talk. All right, so let's go to our first speaker. Our first speaker is Ms. Samantha Bogos. She is the Sourcing Associate for Internal Recruitment at PSG Global Solutions. So Ms. Sam, she graduated with a, with a Bachelor of Science in Psychology degree, and she is a registered psychometrician. Um, she joined PSG as a fresh graduate and now has almost two years of experience working in recruitment and in human resources. So without further ado, we'd like to call on Ms. Sam. Hi, good morning, everyone. And mom, can we test your share screen yet? Ayan, okay. Mm -hmm. Can we put it on full screen? Po? Okay, there you go. Can you see it? Yeah, I see it now. Mm -hmm. So, ma'am, if you're ready, um, you, you have the floor now, and I'll be back in 20 minutes for the question and answer. All right. Thank you. So, again, thank you to all our viewers, and thank you to Jobs180 for inviting us uh, to be part of this webinar. All right. So, my name is Samantha, and I'm from PSG Global Solutions. My topic today is developing strong work ethics. But let's first discuss what is work ethics okay so it is the ability to maintain proper moral values within the workplace it is an attitude that shapes the way an individual performs its job duties with high moral standards so work ethics it's basically your inherent attitude towards work so it's a set of skills and characteristics that you possess that makes you who you are and what makes you decide um, everything work-related, all right? So let's talk about how we can develop a strong uh, work ethic. So first off, we have practice punctuality, all right? So develop the habit of being on time or early for all appointments. So as early as now, most of you guys are still students, are still in college. So you can practice this by being early for your Zoom meetings, online classes. Um, so since we don't have face-to-face -face yet, you can practice this uh, virtually, all right? Even though virtual appointments are made, you still have to be early or on time for those, okay? So this is a good practice for work. For work, it's not really condoned when you join late, um, especially during interviews. Especially during interviews, you really have to be on time or early um, when joining a company because um, it really says a lot about your commitment to the work that you'll be doing, to the tasks that will be assigned to you. All right, so again, number one, practice punctuality. So guys, don't be late for your classes. On now pa lang that you're students. It's practice for, for when you're working. Number two, develop professionalism, all right? So this includes your attitude, your values, and demeanor. Practice being positive and cordial. Refrain from gossip, be respectful of others, develop a reputation of integrity, which means being honest, just, and consistent in what you say and do. 
Okay, so of course you can be friends with your co-workers, your teammates, your supervisors. You can be friends, you can be friendly with them, uh, but know that there's always a limitation. There's always a boundary. So you can be buddy-buddy with them, but um, always treat them with respect still. Okay, so that's how you become professional. Okay, you know the difference between, um, you know, the limitation between friendship and your work okay so not just because your friends oh you're my friend can you like cover for me or do this for me no you have to be really professional because it says a lot about your reputation of integrity okay so be honest just and consistent so third we have cultivate self-discipline anything worthwhile achieving takes discipline Staying focused on long-term goal and not being sidetracked by short-term gratification. Train yourself to be persistent, to follow through on projects, strive for excellence in your assignments or tasks. So now that your students strive for excellence in your assignments, but when you're off to work, you have to strive for excellence in, in your projects, in the work that you're doing, all right? Um, Growing up, I've always been told by my parents, uh, when you're doing something, you might as well give 100%, 100% of yourself doing that task, right? Don't just do something just to say, na natapos mo na. Don't do something um, half, half, I don't, I'm not sure if I can say it, but half the word, okay? So make sure that you can give 100%. If you can go above and beyond, for that task, then do it, all right? Because that cultivates your self-discipline and how much you're willing to do for, for that task, for that company, all right? So fourth is use your time wisely, ban procrastination from your life. So a lot of us, I think, a lot of us can relate to procrastinating because of, um, for workers work from home and for students, now. Uh, online classes, virtual classes, Zoom meetings. So it's easy. It's easy to get sidetracked. It's easy to say. It's easy to tell yourself, I'll just do this later. I'll, I I have plenty of time to do this later. I'll just, and then, magugulat ka na lang gabi na. Or like you're gonna say pag gabi na, I'm gonna do this tomorrow, right? So I'm pretty sure a lot of us um, may ganong attitude. But really, you have to know how to manage your time. You have to be um you have to have efficient time management especially when you're you're about to work you have deadlines to meet and you have to make sure that you don't procrastinate it's easy to get sidetracked but it's more rewarding it's very rewarding if you just finish that task on time right okay so ban just ban try to ban procrastination do it little by little if like you have this one task do it na agad if you can okay so number five of course stay balanced so having a good work ethic does not mean keeping your eyes glued to your computer monitor it includes knowing how to take care of yourself getting proper sleep eating right taking time to relax and recharge keeping your priorities in life uh, clear um keeping your priorities in life clear helps you maintain the proper perspective at work okay so wag naman kayong super workaholic don't pour your entire life into work make sure that you have work life balance make sure that you're doing things outside of work that keep you sane especially during this pandemic um it's hard to have um you know borders when you know you can just work 24/7 you're on you're in front of your laptop all the time you can do work whenever but know when to take a break Okay, let's say your shift is 8 to 5 or, yes, let's say your shift is 8 to 5. Once you've done all your tasks, know that you can stop at 5 and you can uh, no, continue doing other things. Like, keep on pursuing your hobbies. Marami na tayong time work from home, so na cut off na yung transportation. So there's no more time commuting to our workplaces, to our schools. So we can dedicate that time. To like pursue our interests and our other hobbies, na hiwalay sa work, right? Okay, so yun keep take time to yourself, take time to recharge, keep your priority priorities in life clear. 
all right so those are basically the five just i just mentioned five but there's actually a lot of things that can help you develop a strong work ethic but these are the top five that i think will really help you guys in developing a strong work ethic and will help you have a good positive um attitude towards work so just to explain or briefly tell you about our openings at PSG. So, um, should you want to should you want to apply, here are our here's our perks. Okay, so perks for joining PSG we have virtual recruitment. So from your initial interview to your final interview, that's all virtual. There's no need to go on site. Um, also, we have virtual training, work from home setup and no queuing no shifting schedules so what i when i say no shifting schedules when your uh day shift and your day shift um it's hard to say if you have day shift and then night shift um but if you're night shift then you're just night shift so uh usually your schedules won't be shifting okay so we have monthly performance bonuses we have competitive salary package uh we also have medical benefits early regularization and promotion and we recently well not recently i always say but we have this great place to work certified award so it's not just something we say it's not just something you know now come work for psg it's a great place to work at you know because that was an actual award that we received that we are a great place to work all right so we are hiring so for those of you who are on your laptops, you can take a screenshot of this QR code. You can also take your phones out so that you can just scan it. So you can scan this. Um, we are hiring for recruitment specialists. So our qualifications for recruitment specialists, fresh graduates. So um, should you be fresh graduates in the coming future, um, you can also have at least two years in college. You are welcome to apply. Uh, no recruitment or BPO experience is needed. So recruitment specialist, if you want to be a recruitment specialist, there's no experience needed. You can just submit your name, your number, your email, and then we can have you interviewed. Para when you graduate, you already have um, a job waiting for you, right? So good, uh, willing to work on night shift, good to excellent English communication skills and capability to work from home. It's good if you have your laptop or PC, but uh, if you don't have equipment, PSG will also be glad to provide these things for you. All right? So work from home. We are on a work from home setup until January 2022, but that's still, you know, tentative. And even if we do go back on site, it's just going to be like uh it's gonna be a hybrid situation so if you are familiar with hybrid it's some days on site and some days work from home okay of the week so maybe once or twice a week so why be a recruiter should you ask yourself it's a very marketable career you get to meet a lot of people it helps you develop your communication administrative and negotiation skills plus it is emotionally rewarding so this is the best perk it is emotionally rewarding so um especially now that um we're in the, we're still in the pandemic you know there's vaccines but we still don't know how it's gonna progress it's really rewarding when you help people find a job especially when they've lost a job um due to our current circumstances right so visit us to see other roles. So you can visit jobs180.com. So you can look at our page, jobs180.com slash PSG Global Solutions to check out our other openings as well. Okay, so like and follow us, uh, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, our global website. So I think that's it for me. Thank you guys for listening to my presentation. Let me stop sharing. Thank you for that, Miss Sam. So to our audience, we are now open for questions. So if you have questions for me, Sam, let us let us know. Put it on the comment section so we can ask her. So haba ng isip kayo, I prepared a couple of questions na for you, ma'am. So mm -hmm. number one, um, what it's like working with um grad pandemic graduates, and uh, is is that a thing? People who graduate from March twenty twenty and beyond who never experienced like the face to face setup. Mm -hmm. um, what, what what is it like working? Um, what are the things that um are different? Mm -hmm. 
Right. So, especially uh, now that we are in the new normal, speaking for myself as well, when I started working, um, I was just three months on site and then biglang nag work from home. So, I worked with a lot. A lot of my teammates are also fresh graduates. Um, and they have just, this is their first time experiencing working from home. And what I can say is like, um, I can't really say they are, you know, but what I can say is that they are more dedicated to work. Because if you get work now, you're super grateful. In. Like, work is not available everywhere. Um, it's not available, not just because you think you're perfect for the job, you're going to be hired. But when you get a job, you're more, um, you want to do more for the company. You want to give 100% of yourself. And that's what I can say for the people that I've been currently working at PSG. Alright, so thank you for that first. Miss Sam, second question. Um, um, on the tips that you mentioned, what, what is the hardest thing to work on? Like, if you're a fresh grad, um, what would you suggest that they work on first, like immediately, if they can do it now? If you can work on it now, for me talaga, the procrastination, guys. So developing strong work ethics, I know, I know talaga first-hand experience, but I know how easy it is to, to tell yourself na, I'll do this later. Like, I have plenty of time for this later. Uh, you have an upcoming, you have an upcoming exam and you're like, no, I can study it for, I have like two weeks pa. And then one week has passed and you're like, my one week pa ako. So, um, really try to work on your, on not procrastinating. That's really one thing that's really gonna help you, especially when you're working. And not being late, that's really important in a work setting as well. All right, so thank you for that, Miss Sam. Thank you to our audience, Miss Sam. They're commenting, pretty ka daw, ma'am. Thank you, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. All right, so guys, are you sure you don't have questions now for Miss Sam? All right, so if ever, if you want to explore vacancies for PSG, the link is, is flashing on your screen. It's jobsmaking.com slash PSG Global. It's also available at your school site. It's schools.jobsmaking.com slash RT. All right, we have... Ah, okay, all right. Okay, all right. So, Miss Sam, thank you, thank you again for being with us this morning. So, on behalf of RTU and our entire team, we'd love to have you back again on the on the stream ballet. Thank you, Miss right. Sam. Thank you, Miss Sherry. Bye, bye, everyone. Thank you. All right. So, let's move on to our second speaker. Our second speaker is Sir Efren Um Kabadil. So, he is from um a, a, Hinduja Global Solution, sorry. Um, he is the sourcing officer for HGS. And um the 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 intro speaks for him for him, a man with nothing but grit. So Sir Efren, if you're there, please join us. There. Hi sir, good morning. Hi sir, good morning. Hi sir, good morning. Morning everyone. Hi, good morning. Good morning. Yeah. Sir, can you please, sir, okay. other device for a new device? Okay, for, hold on. How about this one? Can you, is it, Are we okay, is it okay, sir? Is, it, is there still an echo? Hello. Sir, you, you don't have audio. Okay. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Okay, hold on. Let's wait for Sir Efren to fix um his technical um um issue on his end. So while we wait, I would like to invite you guys. We are having an open house on October 22 and 25. It's an exclusive um, virtual event. So if you can join us, um, the details are on our Facebook page. Um, 
there will be recruiters and they will be actively processing applicants on the day for full-time and for internship positions. So for more details later at, at the end of the talk, and it's also posted on our Facebook page. So it's open for everyone. It's October 22 and 25, 2 to 5 p.m. So if you can be able to join um, either of those dates, that will be great. So later on, discuss natin yan at the end of our presentation. Sir Efren, are you okay? Um, can you hear me, Shari? Is it okay already? Or still... Have... Hello? Hello? Can you hear me now, Shari? You don't have audio, sir. I can't hear you. I see. Hello. How about this one? Ah, so it's on my end. All right. So I'll fix it on my end. Um, but sir, okay. if you can hear me, um, please um, hear um, start with your presentation. I'll have the tech um, put in the 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 the, fi the file on on mm -hmm. Streamyard. Okay. All right. Um, for our tech, can can you please flash the presentation? I can't hear Sir Efren on my end. So, sir, I'll fix this on my okay. end. I'll leave it to you. You ready, sir? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you, sir. I friend the floor is yours. Sir Efren, no, no, no audio. Sir, can you hear me? Wala pa audio, sir. Sir, can you hear me? Sir Efren, can you hear me? Wala po kayong audio. I can't hear you on my end, sir. I'm, I'm sorry. Um, for the meantime, um, we will fix this on our end. We'll just put in. We'll put in a short video. Please wait, guys. We're sorry for the we're sorry for the technical glitch. Hello. 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 Okay. Okay, so let's start again. <laughs> um, good morning, everyone, and thank you, Jobs184, for inviting us as a guest speaker for um, guest speaker for this event and for the opportunity to speak with our new breed of future leaders and innovators. And um, before we start, uh, I'd like to before we start to discuss the topic um, hiring a new normal, I'd like to give a brief introduction about myself. Okay, so I am Efren, and I am the current um, talent acquisition sourcing lead for HGS Philippines. And in the, I've been in this, this industry for about seven years already. And I used to start my career like you guys. Um, I've been attending seminars um, before I graduated. So, and also joining job fairs, um, applying for a job in different companies in Makati, Pasay, also in 
Mandaluyong with uh, three copies of resume in brown envelope. Okay. And I used to call myself nothing but um, my, my, myself a man with nothing but greed because it's purely hard work and perseverance b before I get into this um, possession. Okay. So today our topic um, focuses with hiring in new normal. So how COVID-19 pandemic um, affects recruiting and selection process. Okay, so here are the list of um, topics to discuss. So how new normal affects um, recruiting and selection. Different um, difference in recruiting before pandemic and during new normal. How HES um, helps and amidst and rising unemployment rate in the Philippines. How to apply virtually. Career opportunities offered in HES and what's in it for you to apply in HDS, okay? All right, so how new normal affects recruiting and selection process? So the aftermath of COVID-19 pandemic um, brings a digital transformation in recruiting and selection. Uh, virtual recruitment processes are adapted, automation and HR recruitment tools are enhanced and go virtual. Um, there's a lot of innovative ways of recruiting through social network platforms, online job portals, and search engine by leveraging the use of algorithms and AI to connect with the right candidate. Um, there's also a vast pool of talent across the country that propels the business forward. Okay. So technically, um, there's a lot of companies um, move or trans um, transition to virtual or remote processes. Um, how does it affect us? Technically, um, before we, we do manually, everything goes hand and um, hand by hand. Um, all our with paper works, but right now everything goes automation and paperless. And this also affects um, our candidate um, selection process. So when we for, uh, when we check for candidate, um, we always check their resume first. And it always goes beyond um, through internet. And, you know, um, we're also checking their social media networks. But um, also data privacy is and is also a security issue with um, on how we recruit for people. Okay. So next slide, please. Okay. So just to give you an um, overlook, this is how companies hiring pre-pandemic. So the traditional way of recruiting face-to-face -face interviews and manual application. So this is how you go to um, recruitment hub. So you pass your resume and wait for um, long hours for the recruitment process. And then the processing of application, um, onboarding training are done manually, just like what I've mentioned. Um, it's always a um, ton of paperwork, okay? And also um, effort. Um, high pay are always in demand. And talent pool only focuses within the industry. Okay, so this is how um, companies hiring in a new normal. So digital or virtual recruitment are adapted. So we do interviews um, virtually through Skype, um, video recordings, um, chatbots, so AIs, so that's how the companies are now adapting the um, recruiting recruitment process. Uh, with the streamlined process and innovative HR recruitment tools, um, the recruitment onboarding to training are done virtually. And also it's more faster compared to the traditional way of processing the application to onboarding. And the health benefits, um, flexible work arrangement, are offer um, mostly more in demand and highly desired by all applicants. So companies right now are shifting to offer great um, to offer great health benefits or benefits and offers flexible work or work at home or remote works. Okay, vast and diverse talent pool. So with the current um, um, retrenchment with other companies, um, we have a lot of vast and talent pools, um, diverse um, with the, in the diff different industries. So it's not, it's easy for um, recruitment to 
look for the best candidate for each positions. Next slide. Okay. So the unemployment rate in the Philippines. If we all know, we actually experienced this, um, the enhanced community quarantine imposed in April 2020. And during that um, quarter, our unemployment rate um, peaks to 17.6%, um, which is equivalent to 7.7 .7 million um, Filipinos lose their job. And fast forward, um, currently in Q4 of 2021, we are still um, recovering. And both our unemployment rate reduces and went down to 6.8. So what does it mean? Um, it means that there's a lot of um, job opportunities for everyone, especially for college graduates or incoming um, college graduates, for those people that um, lose their jobs um, during the pandemic. And those people were looking for great benefits and a flexible work arrangement. So how does HGS or BPO companies um, help um, the rising unemployment rate in the Philippines? So amidst the rising unemployment rate, um, BPO companies or HGS still offers job opportunities to different verticals, um, such as healthcare, financial, telco, and retail. And um, we always ensure that their job security to current employees and even to new normal. So. If you will notice in the data, um, our company is actually still hiring even in the midst of pandemic. We are able to give um, opportunities for about less than 200 people in the um, quarter, second quarter of 2020. And when we ended um, the year 2020, we we're able to give um, jobs for almost 2,000 um, Filipinos. And currently, we are... Hiring is still picking up. So right now we're still in need of um, 2,000 people to give opportunities, especially for um, customer service representative position for um, PH um, registered nurse for USRNs, also for healthcare advocates um, for different positions such as um, recruitment associates, sourcing associates, and also in the operation, which is managers, um, VPs, and admin and HR. Okay. So how can you apply it virtually for a job? So all you have to do is to visit jobs180.com and create your resume link, provide your details, and also upload your um, informations and your resume and next please and you can apply to our job postings um, posted in jobs180.com so uh, th there are lots of openings for you um, we have an opening for CSR, speech RNs, USRNs and healthcare advocates so all you have to do is to visit um, jobs180.com forward slash team HGS. Okay, so what's in it for you to apply in HGS and be an employee? So we offer um, work at home opportunity. We also offer competitive salary package. We have 13 and 14 month pay, healthcare benefits and life insurance, um, paid time offs and convertible um, paid time off to cash, um, a healthy environment and offers safety workplace. Um, the companies actually pass the safety seal checklist for LGU. Okay, so our floor is now open for questions. Thank you so much. Thank you for that, sir, Efren. And so I can finally hear you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, so to our audience, the floor is now open for questions. Please um, put in your questions if you have for Sir Efren so para ma-address natin with him. 
Alright, sir. I prepared a couple of questions here para habang nag-iisip sila, meron na po akong pala for you. So, first question, sir. Um, you mentioned about AI. Can we ask um, how this works? Um, do you use AI for profile screening or for um, assessment? I'm sorry. Sorry, um, can you please repeat the question? Sorry, sir. Sir, you mentioned about AI a while ago. Um, um, mm -hmm. Maybe ask how this works. Like, do you use it for um, screening, like actual resume screening, or you use it for um, assessment and test? Mm -hmm. Well, um, AI is actually works as a um, looking for a candidate for the right um for the right position. So for example, um, all of the position, um, all of the details that you have input in social medias. So when we do the algorithms um, in the social network, we the advertisements actually connects with you. Even you will look at, um, even you don't have um, followed any pages or any, um, like any pages, automatically you will see the job posting or the job ads in your newsfeed. So that's how um, AI works. And automatically, um, they will check your profile and all of the informations that was um, listed in your profile. All right, sir. Thank you for that. So from Ariel Castillo, um, as an HR recruiter, what are the pros and cons of hiring online? Um, how difficult is it for a company to train employees virtually? Because this is one of the main reasons why it's hard to apply these to these things okay well a uh, good question um as a recruiter um there's always pros and cons in hiring online so um the pros um it's always a fast um and fast application or to look for a job and everything um is actually more convenient on the applicant's end when they are applying for a job since it will be virtually and the cons um Sometimes um there are a lot of um candidates that was um that's still in pool that might um overlook your profile, but definitely um your profile is still processed. But um if you will look at it, there, um we have a lot of vast and pool of talent um talents um right now since um there's a lot of retrenchments and you need to be more um competitive when it comes to your profile. Okay, thank and, you for that, sir. Another question here from Kairos Dipagan. Um, is it okay to ask for finer key points to help us be hired during this uncertain time spot? Definitely. Um, during this um, lifetime of pandemic, um, recruiters always give um, key points when they are recruiting for people or looking for um, talents. So all you have to do is to search on um, in the internet how to prepare yourself during the interview checks um check always the um, interview questions prepare yourself as well and um always be always look as a um always look as um i'm sorry about that And always be prepared with all your um, requirements, one thing, and always um, improve yourself, especially with your communication skills, and always search for um, things that will help you to pass um, the application. All right, thank you for that, sir. Um, can, we, can we ask also, what are the pre-employment requirements that we have to prepare before onboarding? Mm -hmm. Okay. One of the um, requirements that we can um, prepare um, are the government mandated benefits and also um, your um, TOR or transcript of records for your educational proof and your resume as well. All right. Um, may we ask, sir, what are the um, um, like SSS, Pag-ibig, and PhilHealth is done by the applicant and BIR or TIN is done by the employer. Is that correct? The, the um, mm -hmm. 
currently um we always work on that one but um as for now um applicant is the one um processing the requirements for government mandated benefits um especially for sss field health and um PEP. but um you can um register through online so it's more easier to get the um requirements through online since um the companies always um only get your um numbers or registered numbers for your government um requirements yeah yeah so key key points yan guys so before you like if you have time now to start with your um government mandated requirements mm -hmm. so now is the time to do it para habang habang um hindi pa kayo nagpa-process ng applications hindi pa kayo busy sa interviews pwede niyo nang i-prepare itong mga documents na to and always always take note of your SSS number your field health number down to 10 kailangan tama yan pag binigay niyo sa employer all right sir last question um what are the positions available for fresh graduates at um HGS can you please um relay that to our audience who are oh, graduating sure. mm -hmm. So we have a lot of opportunities for fresh graduates. So we have an op um, opening for recruitment associate, and also we have an opening for healthcare advocates. Um, these are the we are looking for college graduates even without experience. So we offer um, work at home opportunity here of fourteen month pay, and this actually more focuses with the healthcare campaigns that we um, hiring in HGS. All right. So thank you for that, sir. So to our audience, if you want to explore the vacancies over at Hinduja Global Solutions, the link is on your screen. It's jobtrainity.com slash team HGS. And, and that is also available on your school portal, schools.jobtrainity.com slash RTU, along with the other partners of your um university. Sorry, sir. We have one last um cut just came in from Sharina Termenio. What can an internship graduate contribute to HGS? Mm -hmm. So okay. an entrepreneur, um, okay. So entrepreneurship, um, it's always um more of focuses with retail. So we hire um entrepreneur graduates um for our retail accounts, and also um we have an opportunity for the um them here at human um resources um positions. All right, so thank you for that, Sir Efren. Um, we'd lo we love having you here and we'd love to um, have you back on stream, sir. So thank you, thank you, thank you on behalf of RTU and our team. Um, looking forward to having you again, sir. Thank mm -hmm. you, Paul. Thank you so much, Sherry. Thank, thank you, day, everyone. Sir. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye-bye. All right, so for our next speaker, we have Ms. Shana Marie Filomeno, Talent Acquisition Lead Associate for InnoData. Um, she graduated BS Psychology at San Sebastian College Recoleta, Recoletas, Cavite, and she's working as an HR professional for four years now at InnoData Knowledge Services Incorporated. So um, InnoData is also one of the pioneers of work from home arrangement with flexible schedule and they highly promote work-life balance. So to discuss motivation and productivity, we are now opening the floor for Ms. Shena. Um, can you please join us, Jean? Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Hi, ma'am. Good morning. Ayan. Ma'am, can we test sharing your screen? Sige, sige. Alright, it's up, ma'am. Oh. Yeah. I'm sorry, this is ours, pala. So, yeah, ma'am, go ahead. Uh, is it in full screen now? Hang on, ma'am. Nearly, but pabuata namin. Um, yes, ma'am, but it's on the backstage, ano po, backstage view. Ah, okay. Sige, let me... Uh, wait a minute, I'll... I'll... Okay, lang, ma it's fine. Alright, so short commercial. So to our graduates again, 
Um, we are inviting you for October 22 and 25. It's an open house. It's an exclusive virtual career fair. So we will be discussing it later. But the details, the first few details are already on our Facebook page. So, Michelle, it's up. Um, okay, I can see it's in full so, screen. So, huh? I'll back for Q&A. Okay. Sige. So, Thank you, Michelle. Okay. Okay. So, uh, good morning, everyone. So, again, I am Shena uh, Marie Madlangbayan Filomeno. So, I am working with uh, Ina Data as a talent acquisition uh, lead associate, of course. Okay. So, what I will be discussing right now is very timely, especially that uh, we are in the middle of pandemic because a lot of us are having a hard time adjusting to the new normal setup. So, what I will be discussing is how to stay functional in the middle of pandemic. So, I hope uh, kahit mali maliit, uh, we, uh, we pick up something that can help us uh, in our situation right now. Okay? So, let's do a short recap about what's happening right now. So, as you can see in the photos, that uh, the first one is, of course, uh, our health workers are overworked. So... You know that the uh, the healthcare system in the Philippines is not that good uh, compared to other uh, other countries. So and then uh, we have a shortage with health workers, and then of course our loved ones. Uh, we lost our loved ones. Uh, we lost something, uh, someone important to us, and it's stress. Uh, it's stressful. It makes us sad. Uh, it makes us lost. So there, okay. And then, uh, what I am feeling right now. So assess yourself. Ano ba yung nararamdaman mo at this very point? Okay. So are you burnout? out? Are you experiencing burnout? Uh, are you tired? Uh, are you lost? Are you unproductive? Unmotivated? So are you experiencing anxieties? Are you experiencing depression? Extreme sadness? Uh, always remember that all feelings are valid, okay? So, valid siya, especially in this time of pandemic. Is it okay? Of course, it's okay. okay. So, signs that you are burned out. So, yan. So, the first one is you're feeling exhausted. Yung feeling na kagigising mo pa lang, pagod ka na. Uh, yung feeling na uh, kagigising mo pa lang, feeling mo uh, 12 hours ka nang gising. And then you're feeling useless. Then you hate your job, of course. Uh, you hate what you are doing right now. Uh, before you used to love it, but now you used to hate it. Okay? Then everything gets under your skin. Uh, under your skin, mabilis ka nang ma-irita. Lahat na lang ng bagay kinaiiritahan mo. Your mind wanders. So feeling mo lagi kang lutang. So walang pumapasok na matino sa isip mo. Parang kapag... Um, uh, for example, pag lessons nyo, walang pumapasok sa isip nyo. Okay? Sleep is, uh, sleep is tough to get. So, lack of sleep. So, nahihirapan na tayo matulog because of anxieties, because of uh, overthinking. So, we tend to overthink. So, minsan nahihirapan na tayong matulog. Frequent headaches. So, since hindi ka nga nakakatulog, sumasakit na yung ulo mo. Uh, dumadating ka na sa point na iniindam mo na yung sakit ng ulo mo. Then, lack of satisfaction. So, kahit okay yung result ng mga ginagawa mo, but the satisfaction or, be, uh, or the feeling of satisf uh, being satisfied is not there. Okay? And then, lack of concentration. Okay? Then, lastly, is extreme sadness. So, again, kung lahat to na feel mo ngayon, as of the moment, it's okay. It's valid, okay? So, sabi ni Herbert Pro, uh, Freudenberger and Gail Nor, so they are psychologists. So, we have um, 12 phases of uh, stress syndrome, okay? So, the first one is excessive drive or ambition. So, this is common for people starting a new job or undertaking a novel task. Too much ambition can lead to burnout. So, it can also applicable to those people na graduating students na... Since graduating student na, na sila, they uh, have a lot of plans, they have a lot of goals na tingin nila dapat nilang ma-achieve after graduation. Okay? Then the next one is pushing yourself to work harder. Since we are uh, we have excessive uh, ambition, 
So, syempre, uh, we need to work harder. But the, uh, working harder uh, can lead to stress. So, it can be stressful and toxic. And then the third one is neglecting your own needs. So, um, you begin to sacrifice self-care like sleep, exercise, and eating well. So, kung dati mga two times a day ka naliligo, so siguro ngayon one, uh, isang best na lang sa isang araw. Then, um, dati nag-exercise ka, you are uh, health conscious, but now, uh, hindi mo na siya nagagawa. And then, kung dati, three times a day ka kumain, but now, dalawa sa hanggang isang beses na lang, or minsan, nakakalimutan mo nang kumain. Dahil, uh, napapabayaan mo na yung sarili mo. And then, because of stress. Then, this uh, displacement of conflict, uh, instead of acknowledging that you're pushing yourself to the mass, you blame your boss, you blame your friends, you blame your family members, uh, you blame the the demand of your job, you blame the uh, school works. Uh, for your trouble. So, sinisisi mo na yung ibang tao or yung ibang, ba- yung ibang bagay. And then, the fifth one is no time for non-work-related needs. So, you, be- you begin to withdraw from family and friends. Social invitations to parties, movies, and dinner dates starts to feel burdensome. Yung dati, nakaka-attend ka pa ng um, parties or nakakasama pa yung family mo sa pagkain sa uh, during dinners. But now, due to your uh, due to stress, hindi mo na sila nakakasama. And then, uh, kung dati, you have time to watch Netflix, to watch K-dramas. But now, since a lot of things are coming in, uh, nalilimutan mo na gawin yung mga dati mong ginagawa. Okay? So, dito na din papasok yung being in denial. So, impatient with those around your mouth. So, instead of taking responsibility for your behaviors, you blame others, seeing them as incompetent, lazy, and overbearing. Okay? So, madali na tayong, I mean, katulad ng sinabi ko kanina, uh, imbes na yung sarili natin or yung tayo yung sisihi natin since napapabayaan na, napapabayaan natin yung mga dapat nating unahin, so, pisinisisi natin siya sa iba. So, for example, uh, may work, uh, may group work kayo, so, minsan, uh, since may mga um, hindi nag-work well siya, so, ang gagawin mo, isisisihin mo yung groupmates mo kasi, ano, kulang ko lang yung sinesent niya, di siya makapag-reply agad, kaya pangit na kinakalabasan. Okay, instead na i-assess din natin yung sarili natin, na baka naman din may pagkukulang tayo to, to that um, situation. Okay, the next one is withdrawal. So, you begin to withdraw from family and friends. Social invitations to parties, movies, and dinner dates to start to feel burdensome instead of enjoyable. So, katulad yung nabanggit ko din kanina, since you detach, you are starting to detach yourself from everyone. Diyan napapasok yung... Uh, nag, uh, since uh, nababasa natin sa social media accounts natin na they lost someone, uh, may mga nawawalang tao na parang kailan lang kausap natin, yung mga ganong bagay. So, we, we tend to, since para maiwasan natin or we shut down ourselves. Okay? So, and then the next one is behavioral changes. So, those on the, uh, those on the road to burnout may become more aggressive and snap at lad- uh, loved ones for no reason. So, kung dati napaka-understanding mong tao, pero ngayon, konting bagay lang na tingin mo na, konting bagay lang na hindi mag-work sa'yo, uh, nagagalit ka agad. Okay? Nagsisnap ka agad. Then, yung dati hindi ka naman pala siko, pero ngayon, uh, madalas na yung pagsigaw mo, uh, pag, madalas na din yung pagmumura mo, or anything, na hindi ka naman dati ganun. Okay? So, yun yung mga uh, paces natin kapag stress na tayo. Uh, then, uh, the next one is depersonalization. So, this is feeling detached from your life and your ability to control your life. If before, uh, you can handle everything and then you think that um, uh, uh, meron kang path na sinusunod, but now, since uh, you are stressed, so, wala na siya. So, feeling mo lahat na lang, uh, I mean, lahat hindi nag-work para sa iyo kahit anong gawin mo kahit anong i-exert mong efforts so hindi siya nag-work para sa iyo then inner emptiness or anxiety so this uh feeling empty or anxious you may turn to chill seeking behaviors to cope with this emotion so for example is substance use so some people tend to use drugs um uh gambling so na na addict sila sa pagsusugal and then overeating so overeating is very common to us uh, uh, very common to us since uh, we find comfort to it 
uh, na doon natin nahanap yung parang pagkalma ng sarili natin. So, if ever na um, kapag kumakain tayo, feeling natin hindi tayo nabubusog. But we find comfort to that um, to that um, situation. Okay? And then, uh, the 11th one is the depression. So, life loses its meaning and you begin to feel hopeless. So, may isip mo na after this pandemic, ano nang mangyayari? Or kung may katapusan pa ba to? Okay? Then, the last one is mental or physical collapse. This can impact your ability to cope. Mental health or medical attention may be necessary. Okay? So, yung mental or physical collapse, ito yung pinaka tingin natin malala na mararanasan natin. But of course, mind you that uh, seeking help from professionals are not bad. So they can help you to overcome what you're feeling right now. Okay. So pro, uh, procrastination is very common na ginagawa natin kahit estudyante pa lang tayo. Pero ano nga ba yung procrastination? So procrastination is state in which one is delaying work on our completion of a task or a project. Okay, for example, um, nag-online class tayo, and then uh, meron tayong need tapusin. So, since iisipin natin na, ah, okay, next week pa naman yung pasahan nito. So, next week ko na lang gagawin. Imbis na natapos na natin siya ahead of time na wala tayong ginagawa, anong nangyayari? Mag, um, gagawin natin siya ng mabilisan kapag malapit na yung due date. So, the, uh, the result is not the same as na ginawa mo siya nung may available time ka or nung mahaba pa yung time mo. Okay? So, bakit nga ba nagpo-procrastinate ang mga tao? It's because they feeling overwhelmed. So, I have brothers and sisters na nag-online class and, and I saw to them that sobrang dami nga namang ginagawa. I mean, sab- sobrang daming uh, pinapagawa. And of course, the expectation during face-to-face class and uh, uh, and online class is different. So, sa sobrang dami ng ginagawa, hindi nila alam kung saan sila magsisimula. So, they feel overwhelmed with the tasks that they need to do. Then, confusion. Of course, um, the instructions are lacking and then the communication are lacking during uh, online classes. Okay? So, um, imbes na, since hindi nga malinaw yung instruction sa kanila, so, imbes na magawa nila ahead of time, so, hindi pa nila ginagawa. Kasi nasa isip nila, ah, hindi ko naman naintindihan yung pinapagawa sa akin. Tsaka nila kapag naintindihan ko na. Okay, boy dam. So, it, it can also be a reason. Okay? Then, lack of motivation. So, since we are lacking of motivation... So, tetama rin tayo gawin yung mga dapat natin gawin ahead of time. And then, distraction. So, napakadaming distraction sa panahon ngayon. So, uh, it can be Netflix, it can be K-drama. So, let's say may bagong movie sa Netflix and then may bagong upload or na episode sa K-drama na pinapanood natin. Anong unahin natin? Of course, manood ng K-drama. Okay? So, it distracts us. Uh, natidistract tayo doon na kware na um, biglang nagaya yung friend mo or biglang uh, tara, kain tayo sa labas. So, natidistract na tayo and then nawawala na yung sense of urgency natin doon sa dapat nating gawin na mas importante. And of course, it should be balanced. Everything should be balanced. Okay? Tips for getting and staying motivated. Okay. So, uh, sino-sino nga ba yung matutulungan itong tips na to? I hope na matulungan kayo. So, the first one is if you want to figure out your goals and learn to achieve them. The next one is you're feeling unmotivated. Okay, but I don't know why naka-smiley face siya. Uh, you want to get stuff done. Okay, so if you have a pen and paper, if you want, you can screenshot the tips. Maybe it, it can help you. Uh, na maging uh, na maging motivated again if tingin nyo you're lacking of it. So, the motivation is what drives you towards a goal and gets you up in the morning and keeps you working through a task determined to succeed when things get tough. So, we have two types of motivation. So, the first one is the positive motivation and then the negative motivation. So let's differentiate uh let's differentiate the positive and the negative motivation. So for the positive motivation, we call it uh we also call it the rewards, rewards motivation. 
So this is the type of motivation that you use when you perform an activity to gain a reward that you usually lies in the future. So may expect ang magandang bagay or rewards after you finish that task. So this future may be immediate or distant. The expectation of a reward is what drives you. For example, finishing this assignment means I'm only a step away from being qualified. Or finishing this assignment means I'm only step away from graduation. So pag tinapos ko itong mga um, gawain na to or mga uh, school work, so sure nag-graduate na ako. Okay? So that's what we call the positive motivation. Kasi may reward at the end. We are expecting good things. We're expecting uh, a rewards na makukuha natin kapag tinapos natin yung um yung uh, task na yon. So the next one is negative motivation or we call it the pain avoidance. So it is a type of motivation that you use when you perform an activity to avoid the pain that may result from not doing it. So for instance, a study who studies hard not to fail is negatively motivating himself. So, for example, is if I don't finish this assignment in the next few hours, I'll fail my course. So, kung kanina may goal kang or may may rewards kang inaantay, but uh, for this motivation, may iniiwasan ka ng worst scenario. Okay? So, may iniwasan ka na. Katulad na lang na kapag di ko tinapos to, basically, babagsak ka. Okay? At yun yung nakakapag-motivate sa atin ang hindi bumagsak. So, that's what they call negative or pain avoidance. Okay. So, ways to stay motivated. So, the first one is, of course, you need to set goals. Okay. Ano-ano ba yung goals mo? It can be a short-term goals. It can be a long-term goals. It can be your goal within this day. So, as long as you set it, as long as it's um, it's clear to you that you need to achieve it, it and then it, it clears to you that that's your goal, so that's fine. You need to choose your goals that interest you. Okay. From those goals na nilist mo, so alin-alin ba doon yung tingin mong uh, kailangan mong i-achieve ahead of time? So you list top 3 or it can be top 5 or top 3 na nakakapag uh, na tingin mong dapat i-achieve mo na, or it can be achieve achievable uh, on a short time basis. And then yun yung ina unahin mo. Then make your goals public. Okay. So, some people, nag-work sa kanila yung mga, uh, if yung goals nila isinasabi sa ibang tao. Okay? So, uh, it can be if you think that uh, posting it on your social media accounts, uh, do it. So, you can post it. Because maybe you will have this sense of, uh, sense, uh, sense na, uh, since alam na ng lahat ng tao, I need to make sure na ma-achieve ko yung goals na yun. Then, Plot your progress. So, kapag nagsisimula ka na, nai-achieve yung goals na yon. So, you take note. Take note of it or i-mag-chat down ka ng mga tingin mong ano na yung mga um, progress mo para ma-achieve yung goal na yon. Kahit maliit siya, kahit maliit na bagay lang siya, take note of it. Kasi progress pa din yan. It's still a progress. Okay? Then, break up your goal. So, you need to break up your goal in terms of um, timeline. Siguro, timeline, it can be, uh, itong goal na to is for uh, months only, then yung goal na to is for long term. So, years ko siya bago ma-achieve. Okay? So, it makes us also confidence na kapag may na-achieve na tayo, for, pag na-achieve na natin yung short-term plans natin or short-term short -term goals natin, it's possible na ma-achieve din natin yung long-term goals natin. Okay? And then use rewards. So as I have mentioned, if you think that um, positive motivation works well with you, use rewards. Okay? You can have a reward at the end of your journey to that goal. So hindi naman necessary na dapat material things, um, financial things yung ma-achieve mo. It can be um, it can be something na tingin mo uh, beneficial sa na hindi mo nagagawa dati. So, it can be na, kumari, pag natapos mo yung work, uh, yung school work mo, pwedeng um, after nun, manood ako ng Netflix or manood ako ng K-drama kasi I deserve it or uh, kumain ako sa labas or pag-grab or food panda ako kasi deserve ko siya. Okay? And then, the next one is don't do it alone. Okay? So, kung yung goals mo is malaki for you or masyadong, um, of course, 
hindi naman lahat ng goals is tayo lang yung makaka uh, yung tayo lang sa sarili natin yung makakagawa but because we can also uh, ask or seek help to our friends okay so don't forget na um hindi porket goals mo lang siya is hindi ka na or mahihiya ka na humingi ng uh, ng tulong sa ibang tao you can ask uh seek or seek help to your friends to your family members or to someone you trust yan Okay? So, let's say, nagawa mo na yung tips na yon and mahirap pa din siyang i-achieve. Hindi siya nag-work sa'yo. So, if you tried but failed to get motivated, then it might help to talk it through with someone you trust. So, sino ba yung mga pinagkakatiwalaan mong tao? Parents mo, kapatid mo, uh, friends mo, colleagues mo, sino pa ba? ba? Uh, it can be a pastor, it can be a priest. Or it can be someone na you are comfortable to share your dilemmas or your burdens some. Because it can be hard to achieve things on your own. So having a good support or uh, having a good support network or system may help when you've taken on a big challenge. Okay? Uh, you can also try talking to a counselor who can help you to work out which motivates strategies will work best for you. So, ay, kaya lagi kong sinasabi na iba-iba tayo ng meaning ng happiness. Iba-iba yung nakakapagpamotivate sa atin kasi hindi naman tayo pare-parehas na tao. It can work, uh, let's say this uh, strategy can work uh, with others, but hindi naman necessary na mag-work din siya sa'yo. Because uh, you need to find your own uh, motivation. Because sino ba yung nakakakilala sa sarili natin? It's ourselves. So, no one can um, no one can dictate us na ito yung gawin mo, ito yung gawin mo. It can help. Uh, it can be. Um, it can be something na pwede mong uh, paggayahan or let's say may makuha ka doon na something na tingin mo magwork sa you. But of course, uh, hindi naman pwede lahat. Yun din yung makakatulong sa you. Okay. So mental health is what you need. Is ah uh, is very important. Okay. Then, living in the new normal. So, this is us now. So, we need to wear face masks every day in the public places. Then, make only essential trips. So, if you think that, uh, that na, uh, if you think na yung trips mo is not essential, stay at your home. And if you think that it's too risky to go out, stay in your home. Okay? So, ano ba yung mga essential trips natin? So, it can be groceries, banks, um, hospital. So, yun yung mga essential tips natin. And disinfecting every minute is a must. Okay? So, very important na magwash tayo ng hands. Uh, it, it's very important if we take uh, vitamins. So, yun. Then, quarantine is the new vacation. So, since maraming... MECQ, ECQ, uh, GCQ, kung ano nang EQ yon. So, uh, since then, we don't, we can't go out to another town or we can't go a vacation outside the country. So, um, of course, sa bahay lang tayo. Okay? So, new normal affects our productivity because a lot of us are not that um, well-adjusted to the new normal. Uh, it's been almost two years na. So, hindi pa lahat tayo nakakagrass or hindi pa lahat sa atin nagsisink in na ito na yung new normal. So, the, pro the productivity uh, is bumababa. Okay. So, we have top 8 productivity tips in the new normal. So, the very important, the first and very important is we need to use time wisely. So, the big question is, are you really taking it seriously or are you really using your time wisely? Because the best way uh, to work is to know the value of time first. When you know how valuable each hour is, you will make sure not to waste it on things that will not be beneficial. So this pandemic should be an eye-opener for us. Okay? Madaming tayong natutunan during this pandemic. Okay? Uh, na, na we are living in uncertainties. Uh, hindi na um, stagnant yung mundo and change is very constant. The sudden change in our lifestyle should teach us how to give value to what we have in the present. We should understand that not everything is constant and that everything can be taken away in a blink of an eye. As one of the most important resources in the world, time should be utilized wisely. If you think a to-do list is working for you, you make it, compre uh, you make it comp a comprehensive one and make sure to follow it. 
The next one is follow the new rules and guidelines in the new normal. So, iba-iba yung guidelines per place. So, iba-iba din ang um, bawat country, iba-iba din yung guidelines natin. So, they are doing their best to help people get through with this uh, situation. So, if you need to cooperate and we, they need cooperation from each other for us to make things easier for them in implementing the rules and guidelines. So, the key to combating problems during this time is to help each other and become more disciplined. So, make sure to know the current guidelines in your area when it comes to work and lifestyle. So, some businesses may need to pause operation. So, alam naman natin na ang dami nagsasarang businesses because of the situation and other new norms to follow. The, there are guidelines when it comes to social distancing and health protocols. So, you need to understand everything and then this can save your energy and you can plot right activities and become productive each day. Okay? So, da, kasi yung mga plans natin dapat i, i... I mean, we need to, of course, to know the guidelines first uh, before we plan our activities. The third one is we should be more creative. So if you aspire to become something or there should be no excuse to do it. So we need to be more creative. So hindi excuse ang pandemic para hindi tayo maging productive or hindi tayo mag uh, isip outside the box. Okay? So lahat of, uh, a lot of us are making adjustments and um, maraming nagbago kung paano tayo before uh, pandemic. So... This is because you'll notice how productive you can become despite these difficulties. Okay? So, the number four is add more, add more hard work and discipline. So, if you aspire to be productive, you should work hard and give extra effort to produce more quality results. So, um, if it, uh, this is when we choose to work on more significant tasks instead of delving on matters that will only worsen the current situation we have. Okay? Number five is turn down vices and focus on your job or focus on the things that you need to do. So, of course, discipline is a must. So, one of the reasons people still fail to become productive is that they choose to focus on the wrong things. This new normal should teach us what should be prioritized and should be turned down and avoid vices and instead focus on your job. Keep your focus on what helps you rather than those that waste your time. And then, uh, use productivity techniques, apps, and programs. Uh, programs. So, napaka-digital uh, na ng uh, mundo natin ngayon. So, meron mga nag-download na apps uh, online sa Android, sa Apple, uh, na pwedeng makahelp sa atin. If you think that uh, making your activities na nakakalendar, do it. Okay? So, maybe it can help us na malaman or to be on track sa lahat ng gagawin natin. So, get updates and be informed always. Always uh, watch news, always uh, read um, articles. But at least, we are well informed and we are all aware of what's happening right now. Okay, hindi kasi pwede na hindi natin alam yung nangyayari, especially ngayon. Okay? So, getting the information from reliable sources will help you save time, allowing you to be more productive with other essential things. So, ingat-ingat sa fake news. So, napakadami sa Facebook ng mga fake news at yung mga hindi reliable na source. So, we should be more mindful and aware kung ano ba yung mga dapat na uh, reliable sources na kinukuhanan natin ng information. Okay. The last one is prioritize your health. So, sobrang importante din ito. Because if we not if we do not prioritize your health, so walang wala yung ma, paano natin ma-achieve yung goals natin. So paano tayo um paano natin magagawa yung mga dapat nating gawin sa araw-araw. Okay? So um keep an active and healthy lifestyle. So you can use ergonomic products. So if you are working, you can uh use standing desks and ergonomic chairs so it can help us you don't forget to take your medicine don't forget to take vitamins get enough sleeps so yon exercise don't forget that to keep your health uh and then to keep your body healthy so additional tips uh make journal so me personally i make journals or i take notes on my phone kung ano mga dapat kong gamin Dress for success. So, kahit nasa bahay tayo, if we have a meeting, if um, if may classes tayo, at least wear something comfortable and you think na it can boost your 
uh, your confidence. So yeah, don't forget. At least, hindi naman forget na sa bahay tayo. Dapat uh, pambahay din yung suot natin. So if you think naman na you can wear something na sinusuot mo sa labas nung wala pang pandemic, you can use it. You can use it at your home uh, because it can boost our confidence. So, insert a commute. So, it's let's say hindi na ganun ka risky. Go to a coffee shop. Do your work there. Para lang at least may iba kang place na uh, or nakikitang ibang environment. Use different zone of your home for different tasks. So, kung dati sa kwarto ka nag-work, so try mo sa sala or sa terrace nyo or kung saan ka comfortable. So, the next one is move. So, exercise. So, you need to move. Hindi pwedeng laging nakahiga, laging nakaupo. So, you move your body. And then, put an end to your day. So, let's say your classes um, ends at 5 p.m. So, make sure na 5 p.m. So, a lot, 3 hours for your work, uh, for your uh, school tasks or your school or your assignments. So, at, as long as you know the limit of your day. Okay? And then, the, uh, of course, lastly is breathe. Don't forget to breathe. Hinga lang tayo. Kaya natin to. Okay, daming challenges, ang daming mga, ang daming nawawalang tao, ang daming mga uncertainties na nangyayari sa atin. Don't forget to breathe. Okay? So, uh, this is my favorite mantra ever since this pandemic started. So, I would like to share it to you. It's if you are feeling lost and tired, take a break. If you feel that everything is not working for you, Stop and rest. Once you regain yourself, you can start all over again. Okay? So, if you think na hindi nag-work sa'yo yung mga bagay-bagay, hindi nag-work sa'yo yung mga gusto mong ma-achieve, stop, rest, and then go ulit. Um, uh, magpahinga. Don't forget to uh, to rest. Yun ang sobrang-sobrang importante. It can help our body our mind and of course our mental health it can uh, it can result to being motivated again to regain your motivation and to be product uh, productive as much as possible okay okay so i think that's the end of my slides but you can reach us so uh you data knowledge services inc uh you can reach us at jobs180.com so it you can type jobs180.com slash inodata to find our vacancies. We also have a Facebook page which is Inodata is our, rec our recruitment mandawe, Iber Attracting Company Inc. Careers and Inodata Legaspi. So if you want to pursue uh, work from home jobs, uh, actually, by the way, we are offering 100% uh, work from home opportunities so you can email hr-manila at inodata.com and then uh you can reach me personally at smadlangbayan at inodata.com okay thank you very much thank you Michelle. those are great great tips for our audience mm -hmm. now so to our audience we're now opening the floor for questions so if meron kayong question lagay nyo lang dyan. all right we have one from sir alfred mulan how to approach or help a person kapag napapansin mo na stressed na siya? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, for this thing, kasi especially now, alam nyo, simpleng kamusta can make a great impact to us. For me especially. Uh, because I think that that person care to me. So, kahit simpleng pagkamusta, kahit tingin mo hindi siya mag-open, just check on her message her na uh, everything will be all right everything will be fine everything will be back to normal hopefully so napaka importante nun kahit simpleng kamusta at alam niya lang na presence mo is nandiyan kapag nagka problema siya it will be uh, it will be a big impact sa person na yon I thank you for that, ma'am. Another one from Caleb Baragas. How does a company promote work-life balance? Is it reflected in the work schedule or in the benefits or in any other ways? Mm, okay. So, uh, I'm not sure with other companies, but with uh, Inodata, so uh, ever since uh, we promote work-life balance kasi, so we have, uh, kahit before pandemic pa, we promote, um, I mean, we have work from home arrangement. So they can work anywhere. So actually, and I think that uh, it can help our employees to be more productive because hindi sila nasa stay sa office. 
And then, of course, uh, now we are offering uh, webinars, um, counseling. So we have those um, activities na, uh, na makakahelp dun sa mga employees namin na nakaka-experience ng burnout or ng stress because of the situation. Thank you for that. Um, that is actually related to the next question. Almost mm -hmm. same lang, ma'am. Uh, basahin ko lang po. No? From Jerome Barmeo, based on a recent study in Manila, um, the, sorry, Manila was fifth from 53 countries in the world with the highest rates of burnout and WHO described it as occupational phenomenon. And I have some friends who experienced it. So my question is, what example of interventions or programs that your company or some of the companies are doing now. So this was mm -hmm. answered earlier naman naman. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But to add, siguro to add uh, for this, uh, we promote also and we encourage naman all of the companies because we need to be understanding uh, in this time of pandemic. So we encourage our managers, our employees, na if you think na wala ka naman nagagawin, you uh, log out early so that you know, you can have your me time. So it can help your ano naman, mental health. Great to know that um, no, companies are already acknowledging that. No? Mm -hmm. So uh, from Melanie Estabilio Ketalig, um, how to handle stress at work naman po? Okay. What would be your best advice, ma'am? Mm -hmm. For uh, Kasi stress is everywhere. So kahit saan ka magpunta may stress. So kahit sa work, stress ka, kahit saan. So for me, the best way to handle stress is to know your priorities, to uh, to manage your time, and of course, to exert your best effort. And then, kasi um, katulad kani na kung nagpa-procrastinate ka, so mas nakakadagdag ng stress level yon, de ba? So dapat uh, you need to know yourself kung ano yung strat uh, strategies na mag-work para sa sarili mo, and then you do uh, to do list. Para at least matrack mo kung ano yung mga need mong gawin. Okay, thank you for that, ma'am. From, mm -hmm. ma'am, is it okay if we accommodate all of the questions? Yes, no problem. <laughs> From Eve um, Vasquez, someone opened up to you na may depression siya, pero you are also drained. How can you help those people na nakaka-experience noon without you also draining? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, me, personally, I've, uh... Nasa, nasa face din ako na ganon. So, what I do is uh, not invalidating the feelings of others. Kung tingin mo nag-share siya, don't do na ako din ganito kasi. Ako din, uh, ako nga ganito eh. So, don't invalidate each other's feelings. So, it's okay to share your experiences because maybe uh, your experiences uh, or maybe yung experience ko is um, na-experience niya din and to share kung ano yung mga ginagawa ko. So at least, uh, may natutunan ako sa kanya at may natutunan din siya sa akin. Basta, number one rule is don't invalidate the feelings of others. Okay? Thank you for that, ma'am. And from our audience po, nag-thank you din daw po sila for the encouraging and motivational. Mm -hmm. If you have the time, ma'am, you can read through the comments kasi uh, madami pong nag-thank you na. Um, thank you po kasi sabi niyo po mag-stop kami, ganyan. Mm -hmm. Oh, very important like, talaga. Na, mm -hmm. So, thank you, thank you, ma'am. Um, yes. Guys, are we sure na wala na questions before we let go of Ms. <laughs> are you sure? All right. So, Ms. Shena, on behalf of the RTU team and the entire Jobson AT team, we'd like to thank you po for, for, for joining us this morning. And we'd love to have you back po again for other mm -hmm. sessions. Ma'am, yes, last na. Yes. From yes. Ernesto Buenaventura, when is it okay not to be okay? And when it when is it not okay to be not okay? Oh my God, Tito Boy. <laughs> pang, parang pang, ano to, pang beauty pageant. When is it okay? It's universe, ba, ma'am? When is it okay not to be okay? And then when is it not okay to be okay? So it's okay not to be okay, especially if you think na it's draining. Now you think that you're lost, unmotivated. It's okay. Again, what I am always saying that all feelings are valid. So, walang tamat mali, lalo na sa sitwasyon ngayon. But, uh, it's not okay, not to be okay, but that 
if that situation of yours is affecting others. So you if you think that um nagiging toxic na din siya sa iba and you're not helping yourself to get through that. So yon, that's that's not okay because each of us should be mindful that no one can help us but ourselves. Okay? So I think I hope na sagot ko yung sagot tanong niya. <laughs> Great answer, ma'am. No? Great answer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So it's okay for you to be not okay now, but if you start um hurting yourself or other mm-hmm. people, then it's not okay na. Yes. It's not okay to be That's not correct. okay. Yeah. So thank you, Michelle. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being with us this morning. So Michelle, again, um, mm-hmm. If you guys are exploring vacancies, the link for Enodata is jobsunity.com slash Enodata. They're also, they can also be found at schools.jobsunity.com slash RTU and also the other mm-hmm. partners of RTU there. All right. Okay. Michelle, thank you. Okay. Have a great thank day. You then. Thank you. I thank hope you, everyone <laughs> will be safe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. All right. So to our audience, thank you again for joining us. So we'd like to plug, no? We will have an evaluation for this event, event, so we will flash it and put it on the comment section. So please don't forget to evaluate. So this is for your um, attendance for the event. And while you're doing that, we'd also like to plug that on October 22 and 25, we will be having an exclusive virtual career fair with Optum Global Solutions. And this open house will start from 2 to 5 p.m. and they will be actively processing applications for intern and full-time positions on those two days. So, ano ibig sabihin ng exclusive na virtual career fair? So, this means that there will be interviewers, there will be recruiters waiting for applicants on that day and they will be practicing the applicants on that day as well. So, if you are joining, um, we are posting it on our Facebook page so the, the you just need to sign up for the registration so it's available the registration is bitly slash optum dash oct that's october oct 22 or if you're signing up for october 25 that is slash optum dash oct 25 and so nandun din yun sa facebook page namin so the good thing about here the good thing about this event is that it's open for full-time and internship positions and that they are actively processing applications on that day as well. All right. Okay. So now that um, the evaluation form will be put in the comment section. And we'd like to thank our sponsor for this event, CEO Group. So you can check them out at Lazada or and Shopee. And if you want to check their career opportunities, it's jobswinky.com slash CEO Group. So please watch out for the next set of webinars that we are hosting for RTU. Another one will be the last leg is on October 8th. So that's on Friday. Ayan. Tama ba Friday? Yeah, Friday. Ayan. So October 8th, we'll see you guys again for the last leg of our webinars for RTU. We also have other webinars next week for other schools. And you're free to join in those sessions too. The topics will be posted on our Facebook page. So if there are no more questions or if meron kayong tanong ang hindi namin na-address, please reach out to us via Facebook or Instagram. So thank you guys. See you all and have a great afternoon. So stay safe. Bye.